Hey guys, um, this is about the whole uh, Stormy Daniels thing. She's uh, been getting a lot of threats and nasty comments from, uh, you know, people who like Trump, MAGA, her, the MAGA people. And uh, the thing about it is, is she allegedly got paid um, $130,000 in hush money. But the thing is, is like, she has fired back and expo and is trying to expose the people by posting screenshots of the messages she has gotten. And, uh, just so you all know, this is, uh, any of MAGA people who are watching, if you directly threaten Stormy Daniels for what she's doing against, uh, your Lord and Savior, Donald Trump, your Fjord, your Messiah, your God, um, your Master, the greatest president who has ever lived, the Son of the Most High God. That is witness tampering, and that is a felony, even if it is unsuccessful. However, the problem is, is that, um, the bad news is that there is freedom of speech. And you can tell somebody you're, that you hope they die or that they deserve to die or that they deserve to watch their children be slaughtered in front of them. That is protected under the First Amendment. You can't threaten to come over to somebody's house and wipe everybody out. In fact, in some jurisdictions, it's actually more serious to say you're going to punch somebody in the face than it is to actually punch them in the face. And, um, so, the thing is, as long as they don't cross the line of making a di direct threat, a direct threat, there's really nothing that can be done about the nasty comments, you know? Because I myself have had people say that they've hoped I die, that they hope I die since elementary school, and it's been happening ever since. Because I'm a very opinionated person. And, um, you'll, um, just have to get used to things like that when you attack people that other people consider to be gods on earth. See, Trump is a very controversial figure in the United States. Probably the most controversial figure now, right now. Because he's either loved or hated. And, uh, I personally hate that man, but... Um, hey, he's got a right to his opinion, I've got a right to mine. Everybody's got a right to their opinion. But I don't have a right to make threats towards Trump or anyone else. And nobody has a right to make direct threats towards me. And, um, in fact, um, I personally think that anyone who is on either side, um, killing, you know, Stormy Daniels or Donald Trump would be the stupidest thing that anyone could ever do. I mean, if they carried out these threats, they would just turn their target into a martyr. And, uh, that never ends well for the person who was trying to do the, uh, do, to kill the, kill their, t assassinate their target. Because, uh, you know, their target can often become more powerful alive, I mean, dead than alive. For example, as Obi-Wan Kenobi said, You can't win, Darth. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. And uh, he was right. You see, that's the power of martyrdom. The Jews, about uh, 2,000 years ago, tried to... Uh, get rid of Jesus. Now, regardless of whether or not you think the Messiah, he's the Messiah or not, or the uh, Son of God, or God himself, you would agree that the Jews will never be rid of Jesus now, all because they chose to make him a martyr. They inadvertently made him a martyr, but their choices made him a martyr.
with Roman help, of course, but uh, the, if it had it not been for the Jews, the Romans probably would never have executed Jesus. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be good, y'all.